I recently made a video where I showed you guys how you can use like as many accounts as you want in BGSI or in any game on Roblox and Roblox actually patched it so they made it so that the method I used and showed people in that video cannot be used anymore so I figured I'd make a new video showing how you can bypass Roblox's new one account per device rule and yeah hopefully help some people out so stick around to the end make sure you follow the tutorial step by step and yeah okay so first thing I'm gonna show you that I actually do have multiple accounts so you can see here I'm running multiple accounts and you might be able to see here blue stacks so I'll show you what that is what it does and how you can download it okay so first thing you're gonna need is to search up blue stacks on Google or whatever you use and then this first one here blue stacks play games on PC and Mac click on that and then you scroll down and click on this you just download that okay very simple just click download right there now once you've downloaded it it'll show up this in your downloads double click that and make sure you install it installing it is going to take a little bit of time but it's fine it's worth it in the end now what bluestacks is is it's an emulator that runs whatever you're playing but on a phone think i'm pretty certain it's a virtual phone so it roblox thinks you're playing on a phone but on a different phone so it's like a new device so that bypasses roblox's one account per device rule um yeah so download the blue stacks i will put a link in the description um and then you want to install it once it's installed you go i use this account as an example so press the home button and pretend like we just downloaded it okay so this is what you'll see as soon as you download it okay what you want to do you want to go to system apps play store log into the play store so you click on play store there we go once you download um blue stacks you want to install it just going over the steps again download it from the link in the description install it and then open it and you will be greeted with this screen okay click on system apps click on play store and then you want to sign in to your um google account and then just search for roblox just like this and then right here press install and then once roblox is installed it'll be on your home screen right here and then you just click roblox really simple just click roblox and then you click play just like you would on a computer so yeah just like this and then click on your friend and then click join that's it but there is more so if you want to play with more than one alt account you're going to want to um go on this menu here and then where is it this one you want to click this multi instance map manager there you go once you click that this will come up so i've got multiple different ones but what you want to do you want to plus instance and then you want to clone the instance so you click clone instance and then set the cpu cores to low one core the memory allocation make sure it's one gigabyte and then low memory as well and that's it and then however many accounts you have is how many you want to make so instance count you want to make that however many alt accounts that you have then you just hit create and that's it once create is done you want to oh i hashed a sunday cone let's go um once the accounts are created you want to make sure you click start on all of them and then you'll get a bunch of multiple accounts just like these here that you can see on my screen and i just set them up like this so to set them up like that i'll show you what i do so you you can see uh, app player three so this is third instance you hit join just like you normally would and then click this little arrow so that it doesn't take up much room on your screen you can see it takes up more space you just click the arrow and it goes away and then just click play like you normally would in any other game and then walk over to the egg you want to hatch for me i want to hatch the ice cream egg so because the the dark eggs already done oh wait this is old account one i think i need to hatch the light and dark egg actually yeah i do so i'm gonna go back and hatch the light and dark egg but i'll show you how i set up the auto clicker so you stand on this egg start hatching and then i set them up like this so just grab the corner shrink it as small as you can because you're gonna be afk Okay, it doesn't matter how small it is and then put it right in the corner just like that and then is this old account two i think it is yeah old account two okay there's old account two and one of your
your instances will have an ad. So you can see there's an ad here. That's why I put it on my left monitor and I just shove it off to the side of the screen. Just completely ignore it. Make, sh make it look like it was never even there. So once you're done putting all the accounts wherever you want them, me personally, I put them here because it looks very clean. And while I'm AFK, none of these buttons even matter. Um, you could put it like across the top of the screen like this if you wanted, but I'm gonna put it here. Okay, and then I use GS Auto Clicker and Tiny Task. There it is. I use GS Auto Clicker and Tiny Task. And this is what I use to, uh, the Tiny Task hoards what I do. And then I can use Tiny Task on the account that needs to hatch the sun and dark egg because obviously it switches every four hours. And then the GS Auto Clicker just makes sure the accounts don't disconnect. So first thing you wanna do is click options on GS Auto Clicker and then multiple clicks clear. Well, for you, it'll just be pick point. And then you see, you can't see the the mouse because of how small it is, but if you wiggle it around a little bit, there you go, then we can click there. And then the mouse doesn't show up. Just do the corner of, um, so you can see it here, and then just bring your mouse down and click there. Same thing here, pin down a little bit, right there. Same thing, pin down a little bit. And you do that with every single account and make sure you click twice because it needs to click the, the screen and then it needs to click the game. If it only clicks the screen, it's not going to stop you from being disconnected. I had something. Oh, that's the Sunday cone. Very nice, very nice. And then point again, right there, and then pick point, and I click on the bottom of the zero meters. There we go. Now, uh, you wanna grab your tiny task, and then I do 100 times speed, continuous playback, and then you just wanna record yourself spamming R. So make sure recording hotkey is set to F8, and then I do, I spam R, and then F8 and then F8, there we go, just like that. And then you grab your tiny task back, switch recording hotkey to the top one, playback hotkey to F8, and that's it. Now you do F9 and F8, there we go, just like that. It's so simple, just like that. And you can see off to the left where my monitors, I mean, where my, my multiple accounts is, just like that. It switched to my main account, clicked once, and it spammed R. You can hear the sound of it spamming R. So yeah, that's, that's it, very simple. Hopefully this tutorial helped you. I tried to make it as quick as possible but I'll go over the steps one more time just to make sure you understand. Here we go. So you, first you wanna download Bluestacks from the link in the, in the description. Next you wanna install Bluestacks from your file explorer. Log into your Google account on the Google Play Store. Download Roblox from the Google Play Store. Log into your Roblox account and then click multi-instance manager on the right toolbar, which I showed earlier. I will show it one more time in case you need a refresher. Right, uh, where is it? There it is. This one, multi-instance manager, right there. Make sure you click that. And then select clone account or clone instance and then set all the resources to minimum, whatever they can be, the very lowest. Click start instance, and by that, I mean, make sure you click here. It won't say stop, it'll it'll press start or something. It'll say start, something like that. And then you just play the game on all the accounts because what, you do, what you're doing by cloning the instance is making another emulator that still has Roblox installed. So it means you don't have to log in all over again and you can can just play the game you can log into all your different accounts much easier than if you were to press create a fresh instance but if you just use one alt account just do it once you know it's very simple doesn't use much of your computer's hardware so yeah if you enjoyed this video leave a like and subscribe